In our first video, we talked about the API interface, which we got by installing the integration option of the document management service. In the second video, we talked about the GUI interface, which we got by installing the application option. Now, with the application option, we get a third interface, which is the mobile interface. And in order to see that, we need to give ourselves a certain role. So we'll go back into the cockpit. We'll open up the role collections. We'll select the document role collection, and we'll edit it. And here we see that there's another role that we can give ourselves, which is the mobile admin role. And this will allow us to make our document repository available on mobile. So let's go back to the application and log out and log back in. And when we come back, we now have a third application, the document management application for dealing with mobile. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go in there. And the first time you go in, you will see that you have to do some onboarding. And this onboarding essentially behind the scenes installs mobile services and does some configuration so that we can access our repository. And now we have it installed. So we can go to the mobile services cockpit. And here we have all kinds of options for what to allow on the mobile devices and which mobile devices we allow and so forth. We also have under APIs some QR codes that let us connect our mobile device to uh, this tenant. But before we do that, we have to install uh, a special client, an app. I have an iPhone, so I will install it on the iPhone. Let me share my iPhone with you. And here is my iPhone, and I have it in the uh, App Store. So if I search in the App Store for SAP Documents, I will see I have SAP Document Management, and I will select it. And I will install it since I've installed it before, although I deleted it. Uh, that's why it doesn't require me to log in, but I will download it again. Okay, it's installed. I'll open it. And I have to agree to the licensing. And now it asks me to scan. So I will click scan. And I will allow it to scan. And I scan the mobile code and I continue. And now I have to sign in. Now we are logged in. We can choose a passcode. Press next. I can confirm my passcode. Can I use face ID? I will enable it. And we'll do that later. Well, it really wants to do it now, so I will do it now. It checks the repositories on the tenant with my document management service. And it sees that I have my docs that I created from the GUI. And it has one file. So I can click on that. And so on my mobile device, I now have access to all of the documents in my document management service and in this repository that I created with the GUI.